Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the SCG. The Sydney Cricket Association, as I mentioned, it's 120 years old. So this is our 120th consecutive season. And it continues to provide a fantastic platform for quality cricket, and really that platform through to first class cricket. It's great to actually see today amongst some of the representatives from the clubs, first class players, contracted players, um, and even some ex-test players. So fantastic to see everyone here today. This year again, the Sydney Grey competition will assert itself as we believe the strongest club competition in the world. I mean, each of you play a huge part in representing your own club and that commitment. Uh, looking to this season, there's no doubt that Sydney University will be a leading team again come finals time. Uh, they also just missed out on the club championship last year, which was won narrowly by Manly Ringer, literally on the last few hours of the last round. Um, round one, as many of you would be aware, will be conducted whilst the New South Wales team um, is beginning its Sheffield Sheep campaign. The early start this season allows last season's BBL champions, the Sydney Six, to compete in October in the Champions League in India. And during October, the New South Wales players will be available to play for their clubs. This will be awesome to see Michael Clark, the Australian captain, presently playing for his home club of Western Suburbs. It will also give younger players a chance to learn and compete against the best players in the country and, of course, their state. OK, we're here with Ian Moran, the new captain of Sydney University. Uh, great honour, Scotty. Yeah, it is. Um, you know, it's been a great tradition at Sydney Uni and uh, been going very well the last few years. And um, obviously, winning back-to-back -back, um, premierships has been great. And um, hopefully, we can make it three in a row under under me. So fingers crossed. Some big boots to fill with Greg Mao um, taking over that role. Uh, what have you learnt from Mailey over the years? Uh, I guess probably a. a you know, a no-nonsense type attitude. Um, Greg, kind of pretty black and white kind of a guy, and everyone knew where they stood. And um, you know, try and I guess I'll try and do the same kind of thing, and, and hopefully lead from the front, and, and the rest of the boys will uh, will follow hopefully as well. Here at the beautiful SCG, we've got University of New South Wales captain David Dawson. Dawes, uh, what are your thoughts on the year for your boys? Yeah, pretty exciting for us. Uh, unfortunately, we've lost a couple of players with Tim van der Gooten going to Tasmania with a contract, which is fantastic for him, but not so great for the uni boys. And Paddy Molinari is uh, injured for the start of this season, so we've lost a couple of big bowlers. But, um, but other than that, our, our side will be pretty similar, and we're excited about uh, how it's going to pan out. Semi-finals of two competitions last year, so you went very close. Uh, what's going to get you over the line this year, you think? Hopefully just a little bit more experience for some of the younger guys. If we can get into those uh, positions in the semi-final again, hopefully we uh, have a little bit more skill, a little bit more uh, experience, like I said, to get, uh, to, get to, the, to the grand final and hopefully all the way. OK, we're here with uh, Sutherland captain Phil Jakes. Mate, we've got the sun out today. I haven't seen it for a while. No, it's been a bit of a wet summer over in England, but um, no, good to be back and good to see a bit of blue sky and I'm sure it's going to be a big summer. It's, uh, it's going to be great captaining Sutherland for you, obviously a talented club, um, high hopes of, of winning the title this year? Yeah, well, I think so, we've got a really good young go um, bunch of guys and uh, lots of good kids coming through the grades as well, who, will, who will, I think will push into first grade this season, so you know, high hopes uh, for this year and the next few years I think. And w will it be a little strange playing grade cricket um, without the Blues cricket in the background? A little bit, yeah. Um, it's going to be—it's been a while since I just played great, but um, you know, it's going to be going to be great fun. Um, you know, it's something I've always wanted to do—is have a, a year or two with Sutherland when I finish. And um, you know, it's, I'm really looking forward to the challenge of um, of captaining and coaching the club. Lucky enough to have Tim Crookshank with us, uh, second year captaining Manly. Uh, what are your thoughts for the season? Yeah, it's a season I think we're all looking forward to. We've uh, got a couple of good recruits across, and uh, I think we'll be fairly strong side on paper again. So hopefully, we can. Get off to a good start and yeah, be up there come the uh, business end of the season. What are, you, what are your thoughts on grade cricket in terms of its strength, uh, particularly over the last few years? You've played a lot of it now. Is it getting stronger or how do you see it? It's hard to say really. I think as you get older, um, you probably feel like it, it, it weakens a little bit, but that might be just coming of age. Um, but looking at the captains here today, I think there's a good presence of senior players and and I think the last couple of years, definitely at least the top seven or eight teams in the competition have, have been as strong as they ever have. And I think this year will be no different. So you've definitely got to, you've got to be close to a, a first class outfit to, to be any chance of uh, winning any titles, I think. You've picked up a couple of players this year to strengthen your first grade. Tell us a little bit about them. Yeah, Alan Beatles uh, come across from Eastern Suburbs. He's an extremely talented player. He's an all-rounder, so he helps the balance of our side. And, um, yeah, look, he's, he's going to be a, a huge uh, game for us. And also Andrew Lowe's come across 
from Northern Districts. So it looks like a very talented young young keeper batsman. So hopefully they'll yeah help us uh, get some good performances on board.